Good afternoon, students. Chapter 5 has to do with parenting. If you're a parent already, you know all about parenting. And if you're not a parent, there may be a lot of things you don't know, but you have ideas about what kind of a parent you would be. Uh, there are many aspects in this chapter that deal with parenting. What it means to be a mother, a father, a parent's beliefs, and a lot of the chapter discusses parental styles, parenting styles. What are your thoughts and feelings about parents and parenting? What do you believe to be the roles, responsibilities, and rights of parents in a family? How are mothering and fathering the same? How are they different? Can you think of some common stereotypes about mothers and fathers? In my day, the moms stayed home. They took care of the house, took care of the kids, did all the things within a home, and the dad went to work. That was the basic family style back in those days. I would often hear my mother say, you just wait until your dad gets home. It always put the fear of God in me whenever she said that. And my dad was the authoritarian figure in the home. Uh, so that meant that yeah, there were times when I was spanked. Very few. And it usually had to do with me being 100% disobedient. But it was usually left to my dad. Times have changed, and I feel for the better in many ways. Children do need loving care, and they need loving discipline. Which, in your chapter, is referred to as the style that's called authoritative. Children are allowed to express themselves, their opinion, and can participate in problem-solving uh, various situations. They have limits, and they learn to respect those limits because they understand why those limits are in place. In, to in today's society, the mother and father roles are more mixed. Uh, both may usually work which means each does what needs done uh, and whoever has that time to do it. In other words, it's shared system of parenting. Uh, there isn't a particular role that the mother does or a particular role that the father does. They just work together to accomplish all the things that need to get done. One thing I have noticed through my years of working with young children and working with parents is I found that many parents would say things like, well, I can't say no because I want my child to be my friend. And if I say no, then they won't like me. And we would often work together on that. What's wrong with that? Well, actually what happens is the parent turns into someone who is more concerned about being their child's friend than they are being the mother or father role in that family, and those parents are usually permissive. Uh, and children a lot of times kind of suffer from that because they really want their parents to be the parent. And they do respect limits when they're given in a reasonable manner. And today there are many instances of uninvolved parents. That's a parent who's just not there with their kids. They may be in the same room, but they're not there. And then there may be the parent that's not even around their child, hardly ever, whether excessive work or divorce situations where they hardly ever get to see their child. Although I will say in today's society, if that parent can't physically be there, my goodness, there are so many ways that they can be involved, thanks to all the technology that we have today. Some parents just can't meet the needs of their children or be there for them because they're suffering from addictions. So that really has a lot to do with how involved they are with their children. Parenting beliefs are usually formed by how you were raised. That could be a good thing or a not good thing. Uh, research does say that usually you will parent the way that you were parented, but it doesn't always mean that. I mean, there may be uh, parents who have learned 
from how they were raised, and they say they will never raise their kids that way, but they have found better ways to do it. So it kind of works both ways, but we won't doubt the idea that we are influenced by how we were raised, the styles of parenting uh, that were used with us. So I hope this chapter gives you some better understanding of those styles and the parenting beliefs. Uh, we know that in early childhood, we do work with parents consistently, daily, throughout the year. So it's important to understand where these parents are coming from. And I noticed that in your chapter, it said, said that according to zero to three, parents lack, tremendous lack of understanding the development of young children and thus the expectations for children. So that's something that we can help parents understand as we work with them on a daily basis. All right. Thank you, and we'll talk to you next week.